All right, well, here we are standing outside the Agritubel bus. And uh, Dave, tell me about your night last night. Yeah, the last few nights, Christian Vanderbilt's been the bed closest to the toilet. Mm -hmm. So, But last night we switched, and he woke up to go to the bathroom, and he got disoriented. <laughs> and I woke up having Christian crawling into bed with me. <laughs> I think it freaked him out more than me. He screamed as soon as he touched me. And I was, like, fighting him off, and then, uh, yeah, we realized when we woke up this morning what had happened, and we were pretty freaked out about that. Yeah, well, apparently it's not one of those things you'll never just speak of again. Because yeah, I, just gotta... I just hope it doesn't happen again. I mean, he's been complaining every day about how low his testosterone is, and I hope he doesn't try anything weird to try to get that up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, here we are standing out in front of Agutubel, and uh, I've been meaning to ask somebody from the team, and I, I just wanted to get your take on it. Why does a company that produces equipment for milking cows sponsor a cycling team, and what is the market there? What, what do you think? Yeah, you got me. I mean, the biggest, I think it's a French company, so this is the Tour de France. Maybe that's the connection. Right, 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 right. Well, uh, you know, you guys, uh, you had your doors shut for quite a while there, and I was imagining there was some sort of team meeting happening. Is that, was that the case? And if so, what, what were you guys talking about? Yeah, we're having meetings like we do every day. Today, it's a little different because we hit the mountains, and uh, we just kind of have to wait and see what's going to happen and play off the other teams. And, uh, you know, it's always people go crazy the first day with a hill in it, so just talking about that. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, the different roles uh, each guy on the team has, especially on a mountain stage like today? I mean, are there guys that are going to be assigned to Frank, guys assigned to Carlos, and, and what's your role? Uh, I'll try to save as much energy until the end. We do have a couple guys to hang out with those guys most of the race. And, uh, I mean, obviously I would have liked to take it a little easier the first week than pulling like I did. So I'll try to stay with them as long as I can and we'll see what happens. I think one of the big uh, topics uh, you see alongside your name in the last few months is your, your improved climbing. Um, what do you attribute that to? I mean, is that, I know you lost a little bit of weight, or is it, uh, have you been training specifically, climbing more specific, or? Uh, I did lose a little bit of weight. I changed the position, just more confident. It's a combination of things. Yeah, and, and uh, how do you see the stage ending today? I mean, there's a bit of a descent in the town, so maybe a chance for some regrouping. Do you think it's gonna, a break's going to stay away? Do you see a group yeah. of 10, 15 guys? It's a really fast descent, so the last kilometer or so is going to be really fast up the climb. If somebody tries to attack and they get away, they could win easily. So it's going to be a sprint over the top and then haul an ass down the hill. Yeah. Well, you know, I have to tell you, we, uh, it's amazing the number of uh, reader emails that we've gotten uh, for you, uh, in particular, specifically with the What Game Play chat that we had yesterday. <laughs> what Game Play? But um, the most popular question by far was actually about your, the writer interviews that you used to do for your website. Um, I, we probably had close to a dozen people asking uh, when you'd start doing those again. Yeah, I'm working on it. I just need, uh, I don't know, I'm waiting to buy a new computer and figure out the, the biggest problem was I'd lost control of the website itself, and so I couldn't really do the updates, so I just stopped doing it, but uh, I'd say by at least October. <laughs> do, you, do you have a few in the bank that uh, you're ready, you know, when the time comes you can, you can punch in, or, or have you kind of put the yeah. interviews on hold as well? I've put them on hold, but it should be, I'm sure I can pick up right where I left off. Sure. Well, I wanted to get to one reader question, um, a specific question. It's from Isabella Savarese from Belgium. And uh, let's step away from the bus here. And actually, I have to mention, uh, I don't know if your wife Randy's going to appreciate this or not, but I was really amazed at the number of women that wrote in with right. questions. Yeah, and we had a question, uh, one r woman was asking, do you ever have... Uh, fans throwing underwear on the side of the road. <laughs> uh, that's a negative. But uh, Isabella's question uh, is 
sort of a two-part question. Who is the coolest guy in the peloton, and do you have groupies yet? I don't believe I have any groupies. Uh, coolest guy in the peloton is Andy Schlick, but he's not here. Yeah. So, how about in this in this peloton? <laughs> in this peloton. Um, why not Tom Boonin? He's got a techno song named after him. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we had after uh, after you telling us about the Tomaka Tomaka song, we had a guy email us another song uh, that's written about Tom Boonin. Huh. Sweet. I'm getting. I think I might have to start the race here soon.